All right, welcome back. Since we got our little motor working last time, I thought the next logical step would be to build a little buggy with four of them. So we'd put uh, all of these little uh, Mabuchi motors in each of these corners and get our four-wheel drive little buggy that should have relatively decent performance. However, there is a small hiccup with this particular motor model. This is a good old-fashioned DC brushed motor, and while super cheap, it's really not made for driving wheels. As you can see, you can put your finger on there, and even at those high RPMs, it just comes to a dead stop with practically no force. So my plan was to build a little gearbox for it, and I had this printed, and a set of compound gears that would get me a 16 to 1 ratio once attached to this. So I assembled a little gearbox, put in the little two gears, and you can see there's a small problem. They're going way, way too fast for Rover, so I'd need to add at least two more gears to get a manageable ratio. And while these are easy to print and would probably work just fine, I mean, look at the size of them compared to the motor, and that's just ludicrous. So I went back into the can and got myself some much smaller gears. Had to add a couple more teeth at this size, but somehow the printer managed to spew them out just fine. I mean, look at those tiny, cute little teeth. I mean, the resolution is really not that bad. Putting together a temporary little gear holder to see if the whole apparatus would work. And there you have it. 256 to 1 3D printed gear reduction. With a little view from the underside and a beauty shot to seal the deal. Let's test it out. Just ramping up the speed here from 50 to 100. They ain't turning. Oh! Yeah, there's a problem with the torque here. Still ramping up. Yeah, this is a real high RPM motor, but the torque there... Not so much. These gears have a real hard time moving. Let's get this motor started at a much higher speed and see if we can get more results. And contact! Well, that went much, much better. Fortunately, we had to start it at 90% to get any action, so speed range on this, quite small. Before we go, let's do a quick super scientific test and see how much torque it can handle. Well, we can stop the first gear with our finger. Unfortunately, the last one slips before we can get a chance to affect the rest. Uh, same with the second one. We'll be fixing that in the later iteration. Because in theory, that last one should be way, way torquier than the others. Well, that's all I got for today. Next time, we'll be making a sturdy enclosure to hold these gears in place. So, I'll see you then.